I hope you enjoyed that little medley. That was my day yesterday. I took you along for parts of it. I mean, you were part of my uh, my me medicine review that so far has still not been demonetized. So knock on birch, it may stay that way. Peace and cheers, friends. I hope, I do hope you enjoyed the medleys. I can't do them all the time because I'm not all over the place, you know? I, I'd love to take you on trips, but I don't go many places. There might be one today. Might be one today, and it might be hooked on to tomorrow's. We'll wait and see somebody walking by. I'm pausing. And here we are. This time, cannabis culture. What a neat idea. Thanks, Eddie. Eddie brought this. Eddie brought me quite a few different uh, scenarios he wants me to talk about, uh, different ponderings, and this is a good one. Uh, he asked a couple things. First of all, uh, cannabis culture. Quite a few people have been saying that as it becomes more mainstream, the culture that has been built around this, the mystique, the, the danger, all that ha is eroding and it's becoming just so blah. Uh, and what do I feel about it? And as well, do I have it hold any romanticism to the days of having to buy from dealers and stuff like that? So I'll start with the culture itself, because although I'm a part of it, I'm not a lover of the cannabis culture. And, but before you hit that thumbs down, think about this. Think about this. The old culture was built not around mystique and romanticism. It was around danger and breaking the law. Uh, something I'm not a fan of. The, the romance of being somebody who stands for something, uh, who fights against a system, who is an advocate for something that is misunderstood, that is a positive thing, and it isn't going away. We still have absolutely horrible medical access in Canada, and we need to fight for better. And they don't plan any changes for five years because they want to wait and see all this uh, studies that will prove or deny different myths and, and, and pro problems they perceive and see if they're real. So, the advocacy is still there. The romance, the mystique, is still there, if that's what you call it. The dangerous part of it is starting to go away. That, I don't think, is a bad thing, and it going mainstream, I've talked about it before, the more normal it can become the absolute better it is. I, I, as I said, I want, you know, how sometimes in Survivor the, the reward that they get to go on includes a couple of bottles of wine or some special local stuff. Well, they're down in Fiji. They're, Ten years from now, I'd like to see their rewards as being, you either got some of the local wine or you got some of the local kush. And they're all getting high, you know? Um, they're starting to be cooking shows with cannabis in it. They're, as it becomes more mainstream, the culture doesn't go away. It just changes and becomes lovers of the plant, lovers of it. Yes, a lot of people that normally wouldn't have done it are now doing it. That's just a positive thing. All of this stuff leads us to getting, because I come at it from a medical standpoint, we're getting more and more people connected to a drug that they, so many older people said, I'm not touching that, even though it's legal medically since the 80s in Canada. I'm not touching it because it's illegal overall, and the danger is just too much for me. Now that it's legal overall, a lot more people are not taking 
really horrible drugs in the last years of their lives and they're taking marijuana instead. Some of them without a medical, you know, just going, they know it's going to work, so they just go into the local store. This is how it should be. This is going to make a, a calmer and more healthy society. This may even force pharmaceutical companies into trying to get rid of all the side effects of their drugs or maybe becoming more natural. Maybe natural path is the path of the future. There's a good one. Naturopath is the path of the future. Finding ways to look after yourself without dumbing yourself down completely with, with like morphine and all that. You therefore don't free up all the pain, but you get better and you're healthier uh, and no long-term stuff. I often say, I'm very seriously thinking of a tattoo. I'm dealing with somebody right now. I just can't afford the tattoo. I need four or $500. On this arm, I want to get a heart symbolizing my mom's heart that broke. And it broke me when she left with a cannabis leaf around it and how cannabis could help so many people who are suffering. When when she had her first heart attack and, out, and it was very seriously major and ever since then she just kept having more and more health problems and most of them caused by the drugs she was on not by her heart trying to mend you know she never gained strength and she had a decade of troubles had she had cannabis she may still be with us i don't know but i do know what those drugs did to her they didn't keep her alive they just kept her so that tells you what i feel about the cannabis culture it will change there will be those who say it will erode and go away, but it won't. It will just change. And that is a positive thing for those waiting, uh, what a dirty cup, for those waiting, squirrel, for healthiness in their lives. I'm late on this, but I did also say that I covered the romanticism of the old days, of getting marijuana in the old days. Do I miss it? And I really do not. I can, I can tell you so many times, I had to meet the dealer at a certain place and, and I'd park there and every cop car that went by, I'd be wondering if that's them. If he was, uh, if they're, they're knowledgeable of me, if he was a little bit late or she was a little bit late, then I was worried, oh no, what happens now? And after picking up, driving home, watching every light, being cognizant of every, not wanting to piss anybody off, somebody cuts you off, you say, thank you, sir, can I have another? You know? I was, I do not miss those days. I do not miss those days. And this is another reason why I don't want a vehicle. I don't want to get into all this crap about, the illegalities of it. I want to hug the legalities of it and let's keep working to making the, those bad areas better. We stay advocates. We keep advocating. That is our jobs for life because there will always be too many rules around this stuff. Just like even though I hate alcohol and I think it's poison, there's too many rules around it too. We aren't hurting anybody unless we get in a car with it. We're only hurting ourselves and we aren't hurting ourselves with cannabis. I'm going on and on. It's time to wrap this up. It's going to be about a 12 minute one or a 10 minute one or 11. That's long for me. I can tell I'm talking a lot. I've got a good day ahead of me. I hope you've got a good day ahead of you. I hope you thumbs up. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have a wonderful day and a little happy birthday to little Brandon. You know who you are, but you don't watch. <laughs> Peace, cheers, love and harmony.